So today I'm going to quickly share with you my five favourite bags from the Fendaci collaboration. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, glad to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, to like more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrate yourself and celebrating others. So, sorry if I sound a little bit croaky today and look maybe a little bit bedraggled. I was out last night, unintentionally so, went for one drink, went out, club, croaky, shouting, in the club, having fun. It was great. Home at 2.30 or whenever. We had a great time, so... Yes, that's why maybe I'm a little bit croaky, um, but I had a great time, so that's the main thing. Anyway, let's quickly catch up about Fendace, and I'm going to share with you my five favourite bag styles, and I might do a couple of other kind of categories as, as time goes on, um, but I thought I'd just start off with bags. Um, but in terms of just really quickly, a couple of items that I was loving from the respective collections, I think from the lady sets, um, section, the swimsuits are fantastic. I love the shilling coat um, from the men's section. The heels as well are really, really stunning. So there's a lot of beautiful pieces. Oh, there's a stunning trench in the ladies' collection as well. So some really beautiful pieces. Obviously, Fendace has been created by the incredible minds of Kim Jones and Donatella Versace, um, designing for the opposite fashion house, Donatella for Fendi and Kim Jones for Versace. So very, very exciting, lots of beautiful pieces and I'm going to share my five favourites with you. Now, first things first, a tote bag style that I really, really enjoy um, and I have to say on the whole I've been really pleased, pleasantly surprised with the price points of Fendace. I thought it was going to be more expensive than it was. They seem comparable to Sim yeah, similar to if you were to buy these items outside of this collaboration. So that's always nice to see. But a tote bag style that I've really been loving is this beautiful sunshine tote. I love the softness of this. I think it is absolutely stunning. This for summer is spot on. The medium size is really lovely. It's nice and practical while still not being too large and too bulky. This could be a smaller travel bag if you wanted. This could be a work bag. This could just be a great summer top handle tote for you. Love the colours that they've chosen. There's a softness to it. There's an elegance to it. There's a sophistication to it in this structure. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this very, very much. Let's pop across to a baguette style now. This silk baguette. Wow! I mean, £7,000, it's a lot of money, but wow, 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 it is stunning. I love that the top handle is the silk wrapped scarf. It is gorgeous, it is embellished, it is bold, it is beautiful, it is vibrant. This is truly a stunning, stunning item, a real standout of this particular collection. There is no way that someone, as you walk down the street carrying this bag, would not turn their head and think that is stunning, that is beautiful. I try to think of the setting that you use this for because it is so intricate, it is so delicate, it is so perfect. I don't know where you use it for, I'd be so nervous with a bag like this. Um, but I do believe that they're for usage, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a work of art, it is a true testament to the fabulous minds that sit behind these brands. It's gorgeous. And this baguette, I think, is also quite a practical bag in terms of being able to fit in all of your essentials, okay? You're not fitting a bottle of water or anything in there, but your phone, your keys, a card holder, a stick of gum, a sanitizer, away you go. You've got everything that you need and it's absolutely stunning. I love it. I think it's glorious. Let's go back to another sunshine tote. And I was really, really enjoying this stunning multicolour, which I believe is in the large size. It is so vibrant, it is so impactful. That beautiful rainbow, it is simply glorious. This would be 
the most perfect travel bag atop a beautiful set of luggage. Wow, how impactful. Again, this is another item that I think carrying this, it might not be everybody's bag style in terms of the size, the structure, etc. but there is no way that you could look at this and not think it is stunning and not think it's a work of art in a shot. I far prefer the sunshine tote to the dual book tote as an example. I think my favourite of this style of tote is probably the Rive Gauche by Saint Laurent, but I do much prefer the um, Sunshine Tote to the Dior Book Tote, particularly in this collection. I think they have just elevated it beyond anything that we have seen so far when it comes to this particular bag style. Absolute perfection. It's beautiful. Really, really love this. I think it's fantastic. A bag that is giving me Liz Hurley, safety pin dress vibes. This beautiful black leather baguette with the stunning gold paperclip design. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. What an intricate, what an interesting detail. I don't know if I've ever seen a bag quite like this. Love the simplicity of it with the black leather. Absolutely gorgeous with that beautiful Versace safety pin um, through the buckle, the Fendi buckle. But then you have this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous safety pin detailing on the side with the four safety pins that run up each side with the Versace logo on them. It is such attention to detail. It's got a simplicity and intricacy about it. It is very impactful. It's a bag that I think you don't capture all of the details on the first look. It's one as you orientate around it, you go into it and through it, that's when you really start to appreciate the overall beauty of it. You know that it's lovely when you first look at it and then you look up close and you really start to get a feel for how stunning it truly is, how well thought through it is. There's a structure to it, there's a formality to it. This would be a beautiful, beautiful black tie bag, for example, a beautiful night out bag. Oh, this with a tailored tuxedo, a great pair of stilettos. Ah, incredible, wow. And again, I think for a leather baguette, the price point feels fair enough. I mean, would I, will I be buying any of these? No, for me, you know, bags in the, you know, two, 3,000 pound range just isn't realistic for me, given everything else that I have to, you know, balance, um, but I love to look at them. So definitely, definitely, if I had the money to do so, I would be buying a piece or two from this collection. Just isn't sensible for me, um, but that's a personal thing. You know, for anyone who does manage to get hold of some of these items, wow, 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 I hope you absolutely love them. And finally, my absolute favorite, favorite from this particular collection, and it is a bag that sits within the core Versace range that has been adapted by Fendi, the Lamedusa in the medium size in this absolutely glorious blue. I love the Lamedusa anyway as a top handle style. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It can be worn very formally. It can be worn very casually. What really captured me about this was the blue. I think the blue is the most stunning shade of it. This very kind of somewhere between turquoise and sky blue, very impactful, very soft, but there's a sophistication to it. This would be very easy to pair as well. I love the way that the Fendi um, Zucker print is also in the blue as well. It's just fantastic. It has gold hardware. Love the gold hardware with it. I'm coming around to gold hardware, everyone. It is happening. Um, but I just think this is glorious. It's very practical as well. I have thought about buying a Lama Juicer. I need to go and see one in the flesh, if I'm honest. That I, it would be one that I would buy new from Boutique as well. You know, I love a pre-loved, but they don't come up very often on pre-loved. And when they have come up on the pre-loved market, there haven't been versions that I've gravitated towards. Um, so I'm kind of skeptical that what I would truly want would come up, but I absolutely love them. The medium I think is beautiful. The large size I think is beautiful. This particular one's a medium. I think they've done a stunning, stunning job. It's got all of the practicality that you would need, but it has a sophistication, elegance, a playfulness about it. Stunning. I really, truly love this. Ah, oh, glorious, fabulous bags from two fabulous fashion houses. So there we have it, everyone. Those are my five favourite bags from the Fendace collaboration. Let me know what your favourites are. Let me know if you've picked anything up from this particular collaboration. I know there are going to be unboxings happening. I'm so excited to watch what everybody is picking up from Fendace. I can't wait to see people shopping vlogs as well. 
oh, this is going to be a really exciting time to watch it. As I said, I won't be buying anything from this particular collab uh, collaboration. Um, the price point for these two brands just isn't for me at this moment in time. However, I am sure there will be many fabulous collaborations to come in the future. And if it's a real success, hopefully they might do a take two. And then that might be when I'm at a point to go, do you know what? I'm going to spend the money. Let's see how we get on. Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching. Can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Mwah. Bye there.